Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition. Alright, when we left off, uh, <laughs> we were getting our behinds handed to us this time uh, pretty succinctly, uh, and there's not much I could do about it at this point. Uh, the majority of the problem is that I just did not have enough of a force, and I'm going to have to remedy that soon. Uh, apparently, the Yeon Alliance made peace with them before I could get back into the fight, and they lost a couple, a couple of systems there. Next time, we're not going to be that bad. Next time, we're going to kick their asses. This time ended in a status quo, where they took what uh, they had taken, <laughs> fair and square, and we just leave it at that. But, it's not going to be that way for long. Uh, I have the first strike force being upgraded, slowly but surely. Did I ever do anything more with that? I'm up to 70 with that command. Um... I really should get about to making a second. If only I could afford it. Um, put that there. Um, hmm. Weird, it won't let me that's really weird um usually it would let me just make the fleet that's really weird okay anyway um we now have a new tradition we can unlock question is i've already done the main ones that i go after at this point where do i go from here ah boy oh boy oh boy Prosperity, supremacy, domination? Monthly influence plus one for finisher. That would be nice. And the adoption lets us clear blockers faster. Okay, let's go with domination for right now. We'll go with domination. There we go. And we'll just slowly figure out what I want to do with the rest of them later. Okay. So for right now, we're doing pretty good, I'd say. That war was not our best moment, but other than that, you know, could have been worse. Okay. Follow the current of cosmic energy credits. Okay. Okay, well, let's talk to the Numistic Order again. Let's see what they got. Close your visual receptors. Now picture yourself on your back, floating on a stream of energy credits towards a mountain of even more. With our Numistic visualization techniques, you will learn that there is no greater power than the power of the mind. You too will be free of material desires and credits will be drawn to you like anth arthropods to dung. Okay, that's weird, but all right, whatever you say. Aren't you an arthropod? Okay, let's... We're getting off topic. <laughs> As always, if you need time to consider, we can notify you before we depart your territory, giving you one more chance to accept the goddess's generous offer. The visualization edict. What the hell does that even mean? Okay. Alright. Well, well, let's go with it. See what the edict is like. Oh, which reminds me. I'm making a lot of credits. I might as well burn some in these. But then... Gotta find that one edict. Numistic visualization. Oh, that requires... Influence. 
but it increases research speed, the percentage of energy credits, and consumer pop goods upkeep is lowered as well. Huh. The active use of the active use of nemistic visualization techniques will refocus our people's attention from personal gain to cosmic energy production. To achieve something, you must first you must first visualize it. I can talk, really I can. I don't know what's wrong with me today. But we're at least on the path of doing that already. So if anything, I say we're good. But inbound message traffic. Oh. Inbound. Ketling Star Pack. Okay. Sure. Let's do it. Why not? Especially since you seem to like us right now. Senate has voted on and passed the Resolution Astral Studies Network. Good. It was unchained knowledge, huh? Hmm. Cool. The enemy of my enemy grants the counter <laughs> counter attack Cassus Belli on empires that are not galactic community members and are in an offensive war against a galactic community member. Hmm. Okay, so it has to have the Military Readiness Act as a active resolution before we can move on to that. Okay, that's fair. Okay. Oh, so that's a new one. Peel Guardian Angels Act. Ah, I'm going to abstain from that one. Collective Waste Management. Eh, yeah, that one's still kind of okay. Okay. Alrighty then. Um. I'm kind of at a loss. Science of what to division do next. reports a new breakthrough. Since the war kind of went tits up, and the fleet thing isn't working out the way I thought it should. In case I, in, unless I'm wrong. Unless I'm absolutely wrong. Which isn't entirely possible. Um, effective bureaucracy. Wait. Wait. Gene tailoring. Wait a minute. That's something I want. Making gene editing tools widely available is sure to have a positive impact on our development as a species. Probably. Uh, Genetic modification allows us to actively modify the genetic traits of a species within our empire, and self-modification pops gain a chance to spontaneously adapt to better survive in hostile environments. Hmm. I don't see why not. Let's do it. Absolutely. Wait a minute. Just out of curiosity. Did I need gene tailoring for this? I do. Okay, yeah, that's why we do it. That's why we do it. Hell yeah. Okay, um... With that said, I... I'm very baffled as to why the new fleet thing isn't working. Um... New Shining Star. Upgrade your capital into a to an, an imperial complex. Okay, fair enough. And I got an Science achievement. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, cool. Planetary power grid re-engineered and unified grid further reduces energy losses over distance. Cool. Let's see what we got here. This would be kind of good. Kind of good to have. Faster than light inhibition. 
Gravity well projectors can be used to create localized pockets of space where safe entry into hyperspace is impossible. The immense power requirements and the size of the projectors prohibits their use on anything smaller than a starbase. Planets with at least one stronghold or fortress building will be able to inhibit the FTL drives of hostile fleets. Cool. I'm for it. I'm all for it. Now, to do with the fleet thing. Um, and also another thing. Due to the fact that uh, some some of these defense platforms, defense platforms, now that I can somewhat properly speak, um, will be placed in systems with pulsars, which will just negate the shields. I'm starting to wonder, if should I just throw extra armor on them to actually, you know, give it some sort of extra protection? Considering the Pulsar will just eliminate shields altogether. Huh. I'll have to I'll have to think on that. I'll have to think on that. But I don't know of many pulsar systems that are within our reach. So we'll just we'll just wait on that thought for now. Quite frankly, that's probably for the best. Um, hmm. well, let's try and do that. Wait, what? Oh, they're already in the middle of creating some ships already. Um, why would that put it? Okay, why would it put us over our capacity? Do I not have a fleet I can make? Is the Federation not able to make a fleet? Oh. No, I'm not. <laughs> That's what the problem is. Um, currently active law. I could make us go for 40 years. And it would be fine with that, funnily enough. Um, okay, we vote for this. And we vote for this. Okay. Well, that worked out beautifully. So I guess we do a little bit of... Oh, okay. The Eon Alliance does not like that idea. Okay. Um, uh, huh. Well, I'd rather not piss them off any further than I already am currently. Huh. Okay, well. It's at least an idea that we can do eventually. Hifnar free warriors are back at it again. Being annoying. Um, let's just give you minerals. There we go. Also, my phone is buzzing something fierce. Give me a moment. I want to find out what that's about. Okay, turns out the uh, buzzing was due to an alarm for work that I had set, not realizing I wouldn't be at work today. Anyway, onward we go. And... That would also explain why I can't make them, because the Federation doesn't have a capacity. But, that'll be something that changes soon. Probably. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully the Eon Alliance will change its tune about that. 
Construction complete. But either way, I'll just make some of my own. Put it into its own little fleet there. Inbound message traffic. Oh? What's this about? Oh, they're asking for association status. Sure. That's failed. What do you mean it failed? The Yon Alliance doesn't want them in? Inbound wow. message traffic. It's mean. Villain, your pack is strong, smart, swift. If our minds would move amongst it. Uh, I mean. Uh, hmm, hmm. Like, association with our Federation is one thing. Uh, freely migrating throughout my people is something else. I don't know. Sure. Sure, why not? Why not? Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Plex Credonian. Where did you come from? Chertan 1. Plex Credonian. Who are you again? I forget who the Plex Credonians are. Okay, Marath 2 has been changed into a continental world. Fantastic. That means we can just go ahead and colonize it right now. Which we will be doing right now. Huh. <sighs> I don't see why not, anyway. Yeah, let's go. Go do that. And name it... Acropolis. I like that. And then... Autonomous Mining Drones is completed. Nice. Elgate Insight. Have we even run into an Elgate? I don't think we have. I don't think we ever have. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's actually go with Plasteel Materials. Just because it's A, cheap, and B, useful. Uh, Plasteel is an elastic material that combines many of the qualities of plastics and metal. It is relatively cheap to produce and can be used to augment ship armor. Can't turn that down. Senate floor is in session for the Kettling Star Pack's proposal for collective waste management. The only opponent is the Spuxalak. Okay. Oh, Dawn Light is... Oh, I see. Um... Do I want to do that? Do I want to make an alloy foundry? Or do I just want to do another... Uh, I think I want to do another administrative office just to make sure that I'm staying underneath those. I could do that one because I'm pretty sure... Yes, I'm bringing in quite a lot of exotic gases. Not as many rare crystals. Blah. I talk really, I can't. Or do I want to do another moat harvesting trap? That's a good question. Considering I can do two of those. Uh, yeah, let's do that. It's much better use of my resources and time. Okay, and then from there, I just build one more of each of these. And then one of those. That's good. That should work. Yeah, it should be fine. 
Alright, um... Geez, I'm running into more and more issues where I don't know where to proceed. Don't know if I want to proceed in the directions I was taking either. Ah, crap! Science Division reports a new breakthrough. I only just noticed that happened. God damn it. Alright, well... That's good enough. This is good enough. I didn't want to give up all of those, but... Eh, it is what it is. That's good. Okay, FTL inhibition features and components are good. Good. Good, 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 good. Um, hmm. Shield capacitors. That'd be nice. Advanced reactor boosters. That'd be very good, but not necessarily something I need to focus on. Artisan's output. That'd be nice. Not necessarily what I need, but it'd be nice. Yeah, this is cheap. And it's doable. Sure, let's do that. Inbound message traffic. Ketlings again are going to ask. And... Okay. Voted to offer the Ketling Star Association within the Federation. Okay, so this time, maybe it went through? Huh? Did it go through? I think it went through this time. That's good. It's very good. Hell yeah. Planetary administration, good. There we go. Some members. It's a federation type of galactic union. Hmm. I don't know why it starts beeping when I'm there, but... Okay, what is this about? Ketling Star Pack has entered a defensive pact with the Spuxalax. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. Into a research agreement. Okay. And a migration treaty. Construction complete. The Spuxalac have vanquished an ancient threat in the distant Pobma system. They defeated a Leviathan? They defeated a Leviathan. You're kidding me, right? Pobma. What Leviathan did they defeat? Also, what Science is the size of their fleet that they could destroy it? Wow. Wow, okay. Um, That is impressive. I'm not going to lie. That's impressive. Um, Deep core mining? Sure, why not? Although, actually, now I think about it, I don't really need that that badly right now. Um, improved structural integrity for defense platforms. Okay, cool. Let's do it. And then gene tailoring will be done after that. Science division reports a new Beautiful. breakthrough. And gene tailoring is done. So the next thing we'll do... stellar expansion? Sure. I could do having two more star bases. Sure. 
And since that is done, I can now throw on... Oh yeah, I can also throw on Xeno compatibility. I forgot that was a thing. Ar I unlocked the Arcology project? What? What? Huh? I didn't know I had the Arcology project available to me. Huh. Interesting. But we're going to move into engineered and evolution like our plan initially was. To leave our genetic destiny in the hands of nature is an in inefficient and excruciatingly slow process. Why not jumpstart the future of our species? Sometimes evolution needs a nudge in the right direction. We now have the technology to genetically modify our bodies and minds to endure the trials of an ever-changing environment at an unprecedented rate. And with that, now I can fuck with <laughs> now I can fuck with our genetics <laughs> create a template uh, where I can eliminate that and that and points what do I want to do I can't eliminate the good ones not yet so, not enough trait points for that. Eventually there will be, just not yet. Um, hmm. Where do I want to go with the points I have left? Rapid breeders, eh, not necessarily. Um, adaptive, no. Communal, that's an idea. And conservationist, yeah, I like that. Let's go with that for this template for now. I forgot to actually make the damn template because I'm an idiot. Uh, blop and blurp and we create. And then we apply it to everybody. New sit rep. And oh boy, it'll take 52 months to do that to everyone. Oh dear. But it'll be worth it in the long run. It will be worth it. Science Division reports huh. a new breakthrough. Pabma. Oh, I missed one of them that was done. The disruptors got done. Okay, cool. So, I guess we move on to something. Let's go with auxiliary fire control. Uh, by installing an auxiliary fire control system, our ships can afford to make more advanced calculations, increasing accuracy. Which is always good. Um, blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, I didn't read this one. Our reinforced framework and blast shields with enhanced impact absorption will ensure the structural integrity of the platform even under immense pressure. Good, 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 good. How? Oh, I see. And I'm already over the limit on minerals a little bit again. Oh boy, I do that way too quickly. Way too quickly. Um, why is this still an option? Also, wow. Also, Jesus. No. That's... That's fucked. Is that all the Plex are? That's messed up. 
That's beyond messed up. Where was their home planet again? Chertan 1. Where the hell is Chertan 1? Where the hell is Chertan in the first place? Whoops. No, that's not it. Where the hell? Okay. I'm just curious because I want to find out where it is at this point. I just... With uh, this wide a galaxy, I don't know if I'll be able to find it is the problem. Uh, okay. I don't think there's a way I can find it. No, I don't think I'll be able to find it, and I don't think this would be the people to look through anyway. United Nations of Earth, I don't think that would be them either. Uh, I don't know who to look at, though. I don't know who to be yelling at for that. Um... Weird. Um, okay. Well, that sucks for them, for sure. I just... I don't know if there's a way I can stop that. Hate to say it. Well... help them out a little bit since they're here huh? since they're here let's add communal and create template uh, I can't apply it because the felons are already going through it but I at least have it set up and ready to go all right. I realized I have a bunch of construction ships not doing anything. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah, we'll do that and that. That wow, that is a big big fleet of space amoeba. Good golly goodness. Um, I didn't want that. What? <laughs> um, I'm confused, first off, and second off. That's not what I had in mind. Okay. <laughs> After it's done with the upgrading, I guess I'll fix it myself. And it's in the middle of building a colony ship. Uh, of course it is. Filthy Ketlings? <laughs> They're your own people, bruh! Okay, um... I wonder what happened to make you angry with your own people, but alright, whatever. What can I offer? What you offer us, rather. Skill 3 Scientist. Um... An Engineer. Nimble finger, swift mind, very good with wires and long division. 
Consumer goods, huh? I have plenty of consumer goods to do that. Sure, let's jump on that. See what the... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. They have a lot of good things going for them. But then again, so does... Eh, uh, not really all that good, considering. Um... That's good enough, I think. And Alejandro Solano. <sighs> Honestly, the exile is pretty close to passing. I'll have Alejandra on standby for when the exile eventually kicks the bucket. So, fucked way of looking at it, but it is what it is. Okay. And then we do Starbase there, and then especially do one there. Oh, I'm not missing out on doing that one. For sure. United Nations of Earth enter a defensive pact with the Spuxalak. And Sacrosanct Thymoid Conclave enters a non-aggression pact with the United Nations of Earth. Okay. Earth is making moves. A warm welcome as the Racket Industrial Fleet entered the orbit of Felon Day for what should have been a brief courteous visit today. A spontaneous outbreak of goodwill turned into a combination of open air market and party. Many bonds between Felons and Rackets were forged and much trading took place. Come back soon! And wait for it. All right. Upgrading all the ships. It'll take a while. Inbound message traffic. Ah, research agreement. We have much to learn from one another, Philip. We propose the creation of a research agreement between our empires. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good to me, anyway. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Good. Beautiful. Um, hmm. Where do I want to, want to go after this? I guess Exotic Materials Labs is pretty good. And it only requires <laughs> exotic gases, which I have plenty of already. As we explore the galaxy, we continually encounter new materials and substances that are unfamiliar to us. Cataloging and analyzing dis these discoveries will require new facilities. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Cool. And this will be done soon. Ships refitted. Luckily. Oh, yeah. They're refitted. Which means I can do the thing. Um, I didn't want you with them. I didn't want you with them. And I didn't want you with them. Okay. I have the Reaper and the Succubus <laughs> in this new fleet. So I have... <laughs> Calliope <laughs> and I have fruit <laughs> in this new fleet of mine. Okay. Why do I keep bringing it back to VTubers? Because I'm addicted. That's why. Okay. Uh, moving on. Now that that is done, I'm going to adjust those fleets accordingly. I, first off, I want you to do this one. Thank you. And then, there, better. And second, we'll move these to 20, 15, and might as well do 10, because I can. And then I'll also do 10 on these, because I can. Oh boy, doing it on both will make them me go over my limit but that's fine 
because I science don't... division reports a new breakthrough. Oh, really? Interesting. Oh, nice. That thing. Reinforced framework. Yep, I already read that. Now I think about it. Uh, what do I do next? Is the question. Ripper cannon sounds good. Black cannons is pretty good too. Mineral purification is extremely cheap. Not something I need because I have minerals out the ass right now. So I'm going to go with Ripper Cannons because that is the more useful out of the two of these. These upgraded rotary auto cannons feature improved tracking and fire control systems. This allows them to maintain an even higher rate of fire. Hells yeah, let's do it. I don't see why not. And you are too. There, there we go. Where were you? You were over here. Okay. In that case, I'll have you working on this. And then go back. The Commonwealth of Man has closed borders to us? We have allowed you to move about freely in our territory for too long. Today we draw the line. Okay. Whatever you say there, but. Didn't really need much of your uh, stuff anyway. But uh, still, a little annoying, gotta admit. Okay. What's up, my fleet numbers as much as I can. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make their home base a little further out. Eum. There we go. Then have them go over there. It's a good idea of me, I think. Our pioneers have made planet fall. Good. Science division reports a new breakthrough. They passed Collective waste management. Beautiful. Good to hear. Now, all of the... Oh. The readied shield is picking up quite a lot of support right now. Ugh. We might not be able to shut that one down. That's unfortunate. What can we do instead? Well, I need more influence for that. But I think going to military readiness is probably a better construction idea. complete. Okay, uh, their construction is complete. Good. Actually, you know what? Build the mining station and then go back. Um, good. What was the thing that I missed? Oh, the exotic materials lab. Good. Where do we go? Well, I mean, I say where do we go to next, and I know for sure what I should be doing is plasma accelerators. Because those are really strong. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Okay. Oh, Atomic Countdown. Researchers on Felon Day have eagerly anticipated the countdown of the mysterious atomic clock of the prodigious precision found on Trujam 5 for the past 42 years and three days. Several decades worth of heated speculation and conjecture have evaporated in an instant. The clock has just now reached its momentous deadline, ejecting a stream of self-replicating nanites. The nanites have constructed some manner of advanced computational network on the surface of Trujam 5. The network is inactive and seemingly devoid of any AI, the nanites having deactivated the instant its construction was complete. Our researchers are somewhat baffled as to the purpose of the network. Studying it should keep them occupied for quite some time. Well, incredible. 
where are we at right now? Oh! They're gonna be moving to do that, and then that, and then that. And then once you're done there, I will have you putting stations on that. Because that is a lot of resources I intend on capitalizing on. Construction complete. Good. Good Construction enough. complete. And done on Orum. Good. And then you're good there. Okay, cool. Okay. Why am I only getting one? Oh, jeez. Good thing I went into domination, because now influence is very hard to come by. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, goodness. Oh, boy. All right, we're almost there for the next perk anyway. So, once we hit that... The what? Oh, hey! We've hit the next Federation level. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alrighty. And that means we are at Federal Attaches. The Arbiters of the Federal... Or rather, the Arbiters of the Federation Agenda, our envoys, are savvy and active in their effort to improve the sense of belonging and mutual benefit between our members. Gain one unity for each envoy assigned to the Federation. I think I have two, don't I? I do. So yeah, we, we're getting more unity for that. Awesome. Gotta love that. Interior lines. Well-charted and patrolled hyperspace corridors within our territory permit unparalleled freedom of movement, allowing our navies to rapidly concentrate wherever they are required. Ship speed is increased by 10% while in Federation space. Even more lovely. Sanctity of Office. Rising to the highest office in our Federation is no royal coronation. It is a limitless commitment in service to all sentient life. Nevertheless, the presidency comes with a great deal of prestige. The Federation influence gain is plus one, so if you're president, then you get a little more influence. That's nice. I like that. I like that very much. The Eon oppose lifting it to medium. So that's fine. They oppose going to low. <sighs> it's like they don't... It's like they don't care what I want. Erg. New species variant available. Hey, we did it. Faster, stronger, better. Genetically alter a species, not uplift. So, it doesn't count if you're uplifting a species, but if you are modifying another species, that that's what it counts. Okay, fair enough. And the modifications are now complete, which means we can move on to the uh, Plex Credonian. I'm kind of tempted just to do this to see if I can finally make us a fleet. But I'm pretty sure the answer will be no. So it's fine. I could rename the Federation. But I don't want to. At least not yet. I don't want to. Uh, hmm. Wow, Ren Yamazaki is old. Holy shit. Oh boy. Um, let's replace Ren with Prakti. Oh, why not? I don't see why not. Unless... Whoops, that's not what I wanted. That's definitely not what I wanted. Um, damn it! I wanted to do that. Yeah, I support it just because I wanted to do it. Little shit. <sighs> Alright, well, anyway. I guess... Like I said, I was going to wait until this is done, and this is almost done. 
So, once it's done, there we go. Put this into what? Governor level cap now. Housing buildings. Yeah, I'll do it with this. All government buildings in our great empire shall be monuments to the state, looming over the populace to inspire obedience, loyalty, and awe. Capital buildings and housing buildings provide one housing each. Can't complain about that. Let's do it. Anyway, I can house more citizens on our planet, the better. Oh boy! All right. Um. Nope, man. Didn't quite read that right. Um. Hmm. A lot of those. A lot of those need gas now. Oh boy. I need to get some planets on uh, making some. Like soon. Jesus. Okay. Anyway. Uh, well, I did the thing, as I said I was going to, and we are a little over time because of it. So, I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos, and you want to see more, click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so you can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat, playing games and trying to keep our federation together while also keep our uh, nation expanding in the galaxy as it is uh, also trying to figure out who is really the uh, the biggest uh, big wig that's possibly going to usurp us that way I can focus my attention on screwing with them the Spuxalak were able to get rid of a Leviathan. I'm starting to think I should focus on them being a rival. But it's hard to say. But uh, we'll figure that out next episode, I'm sure. For you.